Hi everybody, I'm Jason from As One Guidance and today I want to talk about attracting your twin and how to attract your twin. And so the first way I would say is to be yourself. Be your true authentic self. And what I mean by that is find that being inside of you that is screaming to be heard, that you are pushing down with uh, illusions or you know lies that you're telling yourself, um, or any any number of things that that you could be doing to uh, remain in fear of of just being who you really are, and you could feel it in your heart that when you choose to feel love that radiates throughout you know, all your cells and your body and and into those people closest to you and um, even much further than that as you start to become more and more your authentic self and be comfortable in your own skin and be comfortable in your own being you are attracting your twin. You're attracting the, the uh, things that you desire. You're becoming a magnet for everything that you have a desire for that's put, that was put in your heart to, have, to, to want and to have this, this reach for to come to you. And so... A few things uh, help you do that and you know one of them is following your heart what is what is it that you that your heart wants you to do you know how how is it that your heart wants you to act does it want you to spread love does it want you to uh, have you know patience with people and it does it want you to be compassionate and forgiving and does it want you to uh, love everyone does it want you to uh, you know just just treat people and you know all beings for that matter with just gratitude and love or is your heart telling you to you know be impatient no, it's not. Your, your mind or your ego is telling you to be impatient, to be uncompassionate, to not, not give people the time of day or not share yourself. As you share yourself more and share your love, that is reciprocated by everything around you, by the universe, by the divine, by you know any anything that's in your vicinity anything that's not in your vicinity you know be willing to be comfortable with who you are and be the true person of who you are be willing to make that choice to say all right just because everybody i know and uh, all the people that are at work or uh, in any social groups that I'm in um, or any clubs that I'm a part of, uh, you know, don't treat people the way I would treat somebody or are impatient with people or, um, you know, don't share themselves. They're, they're shut in. You don't have to be that that way. You don't have to be like everyone else. You were made to share yourself. You were made to share your love. Everyone was. Everyone is. They're, they everyone has blocks to do it, to sharing themselves and sharing their love. This is a harmonious experience. It's not meant to be a suppressive experience 
And so by uh, following the crowd or, uh, you know, doing what everyone else is doing, you're also shutting yourself off. And you're also uh, making it more and more difficult for you to attract the things that you want. If you, if you take notice of, of, of the people around you and, and their cynicism and whatever, you know, misery they have or however it is they act or uh, project themselves, why do you think that is? Do they have every single thing that they want? Do they have an abundance of love? Do they have an abundance of, uh, you know, toys or material things? Are they afraid? Are they scared? Are they scared to lose the things that they do already have? Uh, so they put up walls to defend against those things vanishing from their lives. When you deal primarily in love and sharing yourself and uh, giving, giving yourself to all your brothers and sisters, and I don't mean being walked on or letting people take advantage, advantage of you. That's not what I mean. But I mean the people that it's safe to share love with. You can tell when someone is just trying to take from you and just will continuously take from you and how not to share your, share your energy with that person. And then you can also tell when people are very genuine about uh, needing love from you and needing your help and needing guidance from you. And there, and then them reciprocating that, and it's a, it's a flow. You can tell when that is taking place, and so share as much as you can with people, whether you know them or not, that are willing to reciprocate that flow. And as you, and as you flow more love and more of that energy to those people, you're expanding yourself. You're expanding your heart. You're magnetizing yourself to what you want. That's what's coming at you as the more that you share your love and the more that you share your heart and soul and have a relationship with people and have a relationship with life. That is the magnetization. That's what's bringing in the things that you're calling for. And when you're scared of what pe somebody's going to think or when you're scared about uh, speaking up or speaking your truth or being yourself or uh, letting people in on who you really are, you're closing yourself off. If you're going to act one way in front of a group of people that accept the truest form of you, act that way around everybody. Because if you act that way around the people that accept it and choose to be somebody else around the people that you aren't very sure if they're going to accept who you really are, you're closing yourself off. Don't worry about what those people are, th or what those people think. Who, what, what does it matter what anyone else thinks? It only matters what you think and feel. And that's not just on this twin flame journey. That's in life and in having a relationship with life. That it only matters what you think of yourself and how you feel about yourself. Because that is the way 
that is going to bring the things you want to you. Nobody else is going to bring the things that you want. Nobody else is going to do the work. You are the only one that can do the work for you. You are the only one that can break free of all of the bullshit that you've sold yourself or that you've been sold on about yourself. So at the end of the day, find out who you really are. Get really clear in your heart who you really are. And spread that. Let people know. I'm not saying, you know, go on a campaign across America. But little by little, introduce yourself. You know, start with the people that you know and that, that you love. And then keep branching out. Be your authentic self around everyone, no matter who it is. And if they don't, they don't jive with who you are, you know, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. If you don't like me for who I am, then there's nothing keeping, there's nothing keeping us in the same room. That's fine. I will move on. I will keep spreading my love to who wants to receive it. And if that person or a group of people don't want to receive it, well, then that's fine. That is their choice. And you keep growing that relationship with life and growing that relationship of love within yourself and amongst everyone. And when you become your truest self, your twin is becoming their truest self. They're choosing to be that also. And you, be, you become magnets, or you are magnets, but you magnetize each other, and you become in, you're in union, you're in harmonious union. So don't lose sight of who you are and continue to grow who you are inside yourself, inside your heart. So I would love to help you along this journey. Please visit asoneguidance.com and check out all the services I, I offer. Also sign up for a free 15-minute consultation. Uh, like the video, comment. Uh, any suggestions you may have, leave it in the comment box. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.